Hi there. I am in the backyard garden reading from the Bible. Today I'm reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 34. In chapter 34, it talks about the boundaries of the land, and then it finishes up by talking about tribal leaders. But before I get started with the Bible reading, I want to talk just a little bit about what you see in the video today. Today I'm showing you another bloom on the perennial hibiscus. This one is open wide and oh so beautiful. Okay, enough about the garden. Back to Bible reading. Today I'm reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 34. The reading begins. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the Israelites and say to them, When you enter the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall to you for an inheritance, the land of Canaan, defined by its boundaries. Your south sector shall extend from the wilderness of Zin along the side of Edom. Your southern border shall begin from the end of the Dead Sea on the east. Your boundary shall turn south of the ascent of Akrabim and cross to Zin, and its outer limit shall be south of Kadesh Barnea. Then it shall go on to Hazar Adar and cross to Asmon. The boundary shall turn from Asmon to the Wadi of Egypt, and its termination shall be at the sea. For the western boundary, you shall have the great sea and its coast. This shall be your western boundary. This shall be your northern boundary. From the great sea, you shall mark out your line to Mount Hor. From Mount Hor, you shall mark it out to Lebohamoth. And the outer limit of the boundary shall be at Zadad. Then the boundary shall extend to Zifron and its end shall be at Hazaranan. This shall be your northern boundary. You shall mark out your eastern boundary from Hazaranan to Shafam, and the boundary shall continue down from Shafam to Ribla on the east side of Ann. And the boundary shall go down and reach the eastern slope of the Sea of Chinnereth. And the boundary shall go down to the Jordan. And its end shall be at the Dead Sea. This shall be your land with its boundaries all around. Moses commanded the Israelites, saying, This is the land that you shall inherit by lot which the Lord has commanded to give to the nine tribes and to the half tribe for the tribe of the Reubenites by their ancestral houses and the tribe of the Gadites by their ancestral houses have taken their inheritance and also the half tribe of Manasseh. The two tribes and the half tribe have taken their inheritance beyond the Jordan at Jericho eastward toward the sunrise. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, These are the names of the men you shall, who shall apportion the land to you for inheritance, the priest Eleazar and Joshua, son of Nun. You shall take one leader of every tribe to apportion the land for inheritance. These are the names of the men of the tribe of Judah, Caleb, son of Jephunneh, of the tribe of the Simeonites, Shemuel, son of Aminahad, of the tribe of Benjamin, Iliadad, son of Chislon, of the tribe of the Danites, a leader, Buki, son of Jogli, 
of the Josephites of the tribe of the Manassites, a leader, Haneliel, son of Iphod, and of the tribe of the Ephraimites, a leader, Camuel, son of Shiftan, of the tribe of the Zebulonites, a leader, Eleazar, son of Parnok, of the tribe of the Isarchites, a leader, Peltiliel, son of Azan, and of the tribe of the Asherites, a leader, Ahihud, son of Shilamu, of the tribe of Naphtalites, a leader, Padaliel, son of Amihud. These were the ones whom the Lord commanded to apportion the inheritance for the Israelites in the land of Canaan. This ends the reading of Numbers chapter 34.